We're here at Chino Hills Airport in Southern California. We came down to uh, do a nanographing install from Art to Shine on this Cessna Citation 2. After we have the vehicle prepped and it's ready to go, then we start our uh, cutting stage. So we'll cut all the oxidation and all the imperfections from the plane as good as we possibly can, um, taking into consideration that there's going to be breakdown in the paint and um, uh, certain things that we can't perfect just because of age and use. After that, we'll start the polishing process, and then after that, we'll get into the coating process. During the cutting process on this plane, we elected to use rotary buffers with wool pads. The wool pads break down a lot faster, eliminating a lot of time. This customer stated he needed to be back in the air by the end of the weekend, so that was the option that we had. And we're gonna break this plane down into sections, working in two teams, attacking the starboard side and the port side individually. After everything's polished out and we're finished with the aircraft is acceptable, we go through and we'll do a prep wipe down. This will remove all the uh, residue left over from our polishes and compounds, making sure that we get a good bond between the nanographene and the aircraft. After this is done, then we start the coating stage. We're here at the Chino Hills Airport today, We're here with Titan Auto Works and the Art to Shine crew from Northern California. The coating that I was putting on the inside of the plane was Le Art to Shine's leather and plastic coat. Coating made for plastic and leather surfaces, it actually enhances the leather and makes it more shiny. The project went great. We've had people coming by the hangar saying that it looks like the plane was painted. Um, it looks like a brand new plane. We started with 100% oxidation over the whole airplane, so it required a cut and a polish. Then we put the nanographing coating on it. The coating um, actually reacted to the, the jet a lot better than we thought. The gloss is coming out crazy on it. We're only three hours into the coating and it's getting glossier. 